Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all doing? Hopefully pretty good. <sighs> 11.39. Not too bad. Not too bad for me. I think this is... Oh, hello. Let me just turn my volume down. For some reason, I had it up. Uh, you guys won't experience anything. But uh, I got my setup so, like, my computer... Uh, streams a certain volume, my headphones got a different volume, <laughs> but sometimes I forget and uh, deafen myself. You sat in all the time. Oh my god, DOS games are the worst for that, though. Hey, Maggetti, what's up, my man? Oh, shit. I forgot we were going up against some beastly wood elves. Alright, this is going to be a little bit difficult. Who leveled up? Oh, Fox did. Oh, yes. We didn't get doubles. I don't really think it's... I mean, an agility plus Minotaur is funny. But... Huh. I think it's going to be Juggernaut here. It's tough. Stand Firm is pretty good as well. Yeah, I think we go for Juggernaut. Just so we can't get wrestled or fended or stand firmed against. Throw a fox into a cage pretty easy. Skilling the Minotaur is really tough when you don't roll a double. Really tough. Uh, didn't update the wiki for this one, so that's all good. Okay, so Wood Elves. Wood Elves are one of the... Um, pr probably most well-known Blood Bowl teams, like, for Elves. And, and they're probably, like, your standard four Blood Bowl teams, you're probably looking at humans, orcs, wood elves, and um, I'd probably say dwarves in there. Maybe Skaven, but pro probably dwarves. Um, so they're nine and one. So they're also beastly. They've gone up the <laughs> same number of games we have. They've lost one of them. They've inflicted two kills. It's a start. But look at that. 1,006 yards running. Holy shit. So the Wood Elf team is actually a pretty fun team. And we do have a huge strength advantage because they, they don't have any tree men. Which is kind of like their big thing. But they have like no armor in any of their units. And the difference between the Wood Elves and the Skaven is the Wood Elves are actually good. Um... Skaven are, are not great, but they do have a weird passing game. Um, but mostly Skaven are cheap. Yeah, 7 armor value. Yeah. The thing about Wood Elves is they're expensive, but they're just fucking disgusting. Like, you can see 4 agility on everyone. Most of their pieces have dodge. Um, now, our tackle units negate that. I thought that was a mustache for a second. Where's the rest of your helmet, bud? What the fuck is this? Has he got braces? What's going on there? Anyway. Elves run everywhere. They get everywhere. They get up in your shit. We do have a strength 4 war dancer. Which, uh, the war dancer is one of the best units in the game. That's pretty cool. Anything I really want to worry about? A couple movement ups. I mean, you can see this guy has 9 movement. Um, compared to the 4, I think, on our dwarves. <laughs> So that's going to be a problem. Um, they did roll a double on this guy and get guard, so they have a guard piece. But aside from that, looks like they've got dodge and catch on pretty much everybody. And they've got sprint on pretty much all their big guys. Right, leap on the war dancers, which is a very fun ability. I'm sure they'll use it. We have sidestep on one guy and fend. And is that strip ball? Yeah. This is a pretty standard loadout, actually, for a war dancer. Very good. Very good unit. Um, Leap allows them to literally make an agility roll and jump over a piece. Um, it's as crazy as it sounds. <laughs> Old school headgears. Yeah, I did actually have those ones. Well, well it's going to be fun. How much you want to bet this guy spends a bunch of his personal cash? 
to um to buy some inducement because he's an asshole. We could almost buy another hobgoblin, uh, like permanently. I don't know if we want to. I'm almost at the point. Oh no, I want to upgrade our stadium again. But I'm almost at the point where I want to like start uh, just buying bribes <laughs> in a game. You know? All right, let's go for it. Yeah, you can see he spent some of his money to buy a Bloodweiser babe. Smart on his part. Uh, he's probably going to be having these elves go down. I'm hoping so, anyway. <laughs> hoping we're going to murder some elves. Yeah, they're, they're a very rough team to go up against. Um, all the elf teams are really good. Like, any team with very high stats, again, like I said, that is a late game team. Um, if you have a lot of skills early on, not stats, like dwarf teams, for example, you're good early game, but late game kind of start falling off because all the other teams start getting skills, but they also have stats to back them up. And you already have probably all the good skills anyway. The hell does a wizard do? Oh, man. Yeah. Merc's a single player. It's a way of putting it. So the wizard has two abilities. You only get one use out of it, so you only get to pick one of these. One of them is a fireball, which makes an armor roll on everyone in a three by three grid. Of course, anyone that fails that armor roll falls down, might have to roll injury. The other one is a lightning bolt, which targets one person, and it um, makes like an armor roll plus or something like that so it's very like or uh yeah it's very likely they're like gonna go down and get injured and um it, it's <laughs> if you can get one it's pretty great because it's like oh this guy's the ball <laughs> yeah he doesn't anymore you know it, it's really nice granted you only get these at once per game but it can often get you like a touchdown or something so we're set up a, a good old defense um, want our guard pieces here. Uh, our claws aren't going to be very useful this game because they already have seven armor. And they still might be able to kill people, but... Lightning Bolt is ball carry. Yeah, it's a ton of fun. They don't have block, really, right? I think just on the war dancers? Got check. Nope. 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 Yeah, just the war dancers, it looks like. So, they're gonna have a, gonna have a bad day there. Um, I guess we don't need Rudy out. Well, we do, actually. Fucking elves. So, this is our first proper elf team. I don't really consider dark elves proper elves, because they're kind of like elves that want to fight. Um, the problem with a proper elf team... Is you end up in situations like this, <laughs> where you're like, how do I how do I set up my line? Because I want to be close, because I I can't really rotate after things go down. But also, um, they are like like this war dancer here. He could just like, you know, all lands here. This guy picks up the ball, throws it. War dancer catches it. He runs over here, leaps over here, dodges out, and he's over here. Like, turn one. Let's see, actually, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, he could get here, turn one. Like, how do I react to that? Real talk. <laughs> Aside from the ponies. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. The only thing that we have in our advantage, they do not have sure hands on their ball or in their war dancers, who they'll probably use to try and score. And we do have strip ball on origami. So origami is our very important piece today. It's his charge to sort of rotate and try to get the ball away from these guys. <laughs> and hey, I've got some brilliant coaching. I try. I try. Sorry if I sound a little mucusy. I hope I hope I don't. I feel a little mucusy. 
Try and drink some water, clear that up maybe. Always fucking scares me when I see elves. Okay. Well, we know he's not doing it. But just the same, they, they could. I don't even think they're going to try and block. Because we just have, like, such an advantage over them. Oh my god, an elf failed to pick up. <laughs> okay. When an elf fails to pick up, you're in for an interesting round. And this is what's going to happen. It is really hard to fucking kill elves. Because ideally, they're not going to stand here. Right? They're just going to slowly keep pulling back. I mean, this guy's going for a blitz. Sure there, bud. Okay, well, he got lucky. But this is what they're going to do. They're going to stay one tile away from us all game. And until they fail that... Well, they get a bit of bad luck on a roll. That's what they're... Is this guy just getting crowd surfed? Oh, fucking strength four war dancer. Oh, okay. I mean, I could still crowd surf him, though. And I kind of like the idea of just crowd surfing a guy. Or I could roll really bad. Okay, there we go. Alright. Well, that takes their best piece off the field. I know I didn't kill him, and he's not even injured. But... So all we're going to try and do is just move this up. You know? Just pretend this is like Poland, and we're Germany, and we're just slowly moving up the pitch. Got a bunch of, bunch of Panzers. Got some other guys. Um, moving the Minotaur is going to be annoying. Hopefully Fox plays along. Cool. Fucking Russian wolf elves, that's right. <laughs> yeah, but this is what we kind of have to do. We have to slowly move up like this and just and just cage them in on their their side. Um The problem is if they break through, they are going to spill out onto this side like nobody's goddamn business. You type in wolf way too much? <laughs> That's true, Dino. Yeah, you did type wolf a lot. Look, like, this is the fun thing about playing, like, an elf team. You're just like, okay. It's a completely different game. You don't even try and line up on people. Well, okay, this guy is for some stupid reason. Uh, he dies next turn. But what you do is you're, you're sitting there, okay. So, how do I score... And ideally what you try and do is you go for a 2-1 game, this will happen. You force elves to roll uh, armor anytime you can. Or roll agility, like their dodge rolls anytime you can. But um, the the thing is like an elf or, or skaven even for that matter is you're sitting there going, okay, okay. How can I score in like two turns? And then your opponent is going to slowly score in six turns. You can't stop that. Uh, but then you need to just try and score one more time. So an elf game is usually like a 2 1. You stun foul him! Uh, Zelfus is way over here, unfortunately. But we'll, we'll do our best. I kind of want to kill this movement 9 catcher. That'd be cool. Oh, do I use piling on here? Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, shit! Oh, that was awesome! I've never used piling on in uh, Blood Bowl 2. I don't normally play the, the fighting teams. Holy shit, that was like the best thing. Okay, well, uh, let's steal this hole up. Remember guys, we're flex seal. And the elves are water. We gotta stop them from causing massive damage. 
Holy shit, Maggetti. What are the odds he would roll that again? Maggetti, you're really disappointing me, baby. Now, here's our foul piece. Almost tempting. We, we might be able to rotate here, actually. Yo! That's a lot of damage! <laughs> That's right. Alright. Well, I guess we'll, we'll do our safe hits first. And we do have to be really careful with how we're pushing up. Borrowed. Punching elves is what you do. I don't have a guard here, annoyingly. Oh, I still have my blitz. Oh, I still have my blitz. Okay. There's going to be a hole here if I give this assist, though. We'll do it. Alright, Fox, do me proud. Beautiful. Did this guy just fend me? Does fend work with Juggernaut? Opposing players... Oh, it has to be a Blitz. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay. So... I need a Dwarf here. Here? Here. Exactly where Origami is. Or I could just put him here. I only with the Chaos Goat Man. <laughs> Left up the street up landed hooves his stomach. Dude, that's sick. Do 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 do. So because Origami is strip ball, he doesn't didn't have to roll anything good there. He did. That'll do. Well, I kind of think I know how this elf game is gonna go, and I, I think I like it. Oh, Rudy, hell yeah. Those spiky shoulders come in play. Thank you. Man, Chaos Doors are a pretty beastly team. I always thought they were good just because I looked at the Bull Centaur on paper. And I was like, wow, Bull Centaurs are kind of OP. Chaos Doors are like the best team out there. But it's actually because the Chaos Dwarf blockers are like really good. It's like you get to play a Dwarf team... But also you get to have a guy with mobility on your team. Two of them. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Shit. Yeah, you better run. Picks it up in the tack. Oh, failed it. Oh, he's running under rerolls. And he's going to get fucking blitzed by the pony. Or just punch. Okay. I'm not attacking with Maggetti anymore. Hasn't been working out for me. No, just run away! Okay, now go back. Okay, everyone's stunned. Shit, yeah. Essentially. Uh, I would like Zelfas to foul, actually, if I could. Yeah, his fend. Oh, yeah. Got to be careful. Holes are opening up. You always got to be mindful of your holes. Okay. Might go for something like that. I mean, we could free... Delphus up, which would be good. Beautiful. Do it up, Foxy. Works. We can go for a GFI and get a pretty good foul off. Kind of like it.
probably what we do. Let's do our safe one here. Origami. Um, I think a push will work with strip ball, right? Yep. So even though we can't actually take this guy out, we can force him to draw out the ball. So. Beautiful. Um, Rudy will want here. Um, sure, let's try this. Man, we really do need to get block on Maggetti or something. It's killing me. Alright, Zelfa, see if you can go for the, uh, run over here and foul. Beautiful. Just kick him in the nuts. Okay, just stunned. Just stunned. That's fine. This team's not even that leveled up, it's just Wood Elves are so expensive and they had a couple guys in the reserve. Um, which you kind of need as Elves. Elves are a weird, weird brand. And then you have Vampires, which are like... <laughs> like an Elf team on steroids, but also they suck. <laughs> They're pretty cool though, I like them. Oh, it's not happening. Sorry, Billy. You gonna blow your last reroll on that? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> what else? They don't have nuts? They'd be stealing from squirrels? Maybe right there, actually. Oh, goodbye. Groin strain. I guess he hit his head so hard it went through his asshole. Um, who knows? We may never know. Oh god. It's already getting bad. You can start to see these holes happening. And that's not something we can let happen. So even though I want to move everybody up and be aggressive on the ball carrier, what I really have to do is still park people like this so that they can't run through, because they will. Um, I mean, this is going to be something we do. No question about that. What else are, in fact, dickheads? <laughs> I like it. Maybe foul this guy? I don't know. He's not really on my, like, must-kill list, but... Okay. If I could stop rolling everyone in the game when I try and block... You know, I'd, I'd take it anyway. See, now blitzing with Foxy's a little risky. It's gonna be something we have to do. But... Um. All right, come on, Fox. Get in there. Okay, right. that's not gonna work. Try again. Oh, Fox failed the GFI. Okay. Problem is when they finally knock your big guy down, it's so hard to get him back up. Well, we're going to blitz this guy with origami next turn. Knock the ball out of his hands and see what we're dealing with at that point. But you see what I mean? Like, I can't commit to this ball carrier with my entire team. I have to, like, keep this line going. Because they will get through. Just when you think everything's fine, elves happen. Okay, that I like. Nope. They've been rolling pretty good on the the injuries, actually, as well. That's shitty. Alright, 
Let's get the important stuff out of the way. Come on, origami. Oh, nice. We did actually knock him down. Jeez. Okay, beautiful. Now, where's the ball going? Oh, I'm not going to reroll that catch. It's fine. Okay. It's a pretty good spot. Uh, we're definitely going to piling on. Because fun. Reroll it! Spider, should we go? <laughs> I love we just fucking Wolverine them. It's great. Oh, broken neck. That's a dead elf. We didn't just kill him. We put him out of house and home. This is still a little scary, but the war dancers are down and they're usually the worst. Oh my good god. Like, every one in the game has been rolled. Fuck me. Alright. Maybe we should just try and pick up with Fox. That could be fun. Um. Hmm. We got a pretty good foul here. Eh, sure, why not? I guess we'll go for the foul. And if you don't get sent off, we'll try and pick up with Fox. This is a bit of a gamble. Everyone get in here! <laughs> oh, shit. And we didn't break armor. Really? Okay. Well, RNG happens. This is going to get a little rough. But, like, they can push through here, but they're not going to be able to get the ball this turn. So. Oh. Oh, elves! Oh, elves! There you go, thank you, Zelfus. Tired of these fuckers getting every natural thing. Zell couldn't be caught if he didn't break armor. No, he can be. There is a skill that does that, but we don't have it on him. We have the skill that makes him better at breaking armor. Because normally it's if you roll a. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, interesting. Um, if you roll a double on the armor or the injury roll. So if you roll um, um, like an armor roll and break armor, you now have like twice the chance of getting sent off. <laughs> you know what I mean? The nature of the beast. Okay. Not the world's best RNG right now. Okay. Are you sunbathing? Yeah, you're just chilling. Just like, you know, it's a little hot out. Just relax a bit. Why not? Hey, where are the apples on your little skulls? Are they not rendered? What? Oh, then, no, there it is. You just can't see it because I can't rotate the camera. There's a little apple on that skull. When you got a tan, that's right. Alright, well, let's punch them. Holy shit! We are rolling so bad, and I'm taking, like, all the safe blocks. That's crazy. Crazy. Um, I guess? I would like Megetti the score, actually. It'd be sick. That'd be super cool. I'm really tempted to fucking... No, let's just punch our way into this cage. Okay, Fox failed her wild animal. As you do. I don't fucking like this. 
<laughs> everything about me is like that that elf is gonna wake up dodge over here pick up the ball and this guy's gonna be halfway down the field before I can stop him so we got two turns for a touchdown zero rerolls because we burned them all on Maggetti trying to hit people tanning the thunder legs oh I forgot about that bar that's pretty good Yeah, and that like that's a risk you take, right? When you blitz with like the big guy. So I, I knew that was a possibility. Um, I didn't really have a good blitz anyway. Uh, this is fine. I can definitely pick the ball up on Rudy. The question is, do we just score with Rudy then? Probably. I think it's probably safer to do that. Nice, Silas. Good job. Dino. Holy shit! How many times have I rolled that exact one and two? Like... Just horrific. Call the fucking police. Oh, you should have gone here, actually. I'll take it. Oh, Fox stood up. Holy shit. Uh, I think I kind of blitz here. Blitz here, push them down. No. Blitz here, push up. Blitz down here, push to the side. Yeah, if I could. No, that'd be GFI. Shove everyone down one. I guess that's what we do. Um, that's nice, actually. Guess what's happening, boys? Ah! <laughs> oh, really? Look. Okay. So. So. Kind of crazy things do we do today? I even stunned from piling on rigged. Yeah, we're having a bad one. Hey, Rudy, you know what you're doing. That's all. We know. We know. Maggetti is great at catching balls. That was the worst pass I've ever seen. That's okay. We should be able to score next turn off it. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, I don't roll the best on the pickup usually. <laughs> Whatever. What the heck, old Maggetti? When'd you get a little star next to your name? He was me. Okay, alright. And you know what sucks about this elf game? Not only are we not getting a lot of opportunities to punch people. fuck happened here? How the fuck do you do that? Oh, I see how it's gonna be. Okay. Okay. Guys, we gotta... We gotta clear origami a fucking path. We need origami to get in here. Right in the nuts! Do elves have nuts? Confirmed, right? We talked about this. Wood elves don't. And Maggetti and his ones do. Actually, that was uh, entirely Rudy. Turns out Rudy rolled really bad there. Just think got Twitch Prime. <laughs> oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Alright, Origami, do your thing, baby. Uh. Okay. Don't fucking catch it. All right. Now, this is easy. All we gotta do is have Maggetti pick the damn ball up and score. It's just the 50-50, boys. Yeah, of course. I think we rolled really bad. Really bad. Now this is pod racing. 
Is it possible to roll that bad? Who the fuck knows? You know we're having a bad game though when Zelfis fouls like once and gets sent off. The fuck's up with that? Oh, the offensive setup one? Was this offensive setup one? This is garbage. It smells like how you get elves. <laughs> Do you want to have elves in your back door? Because that's how you get elves in your back door. Uh, and I don't like it, no sir. Not me. I mean, we gotta do something like this, really. At least there's a couple tackle zones we have to, they have to worry about. Okay, Rudy can get a ball. We got a herpy over here to just sort of react to things. Go. Sucks they had so many reserves. Yeah, but it's okay because apparently that guy had kick kick. Nice. It's okay that they had a lot of reserves because it means their players weren't skilled. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'd much rather have an opponent that has a lot of extra guys. But, like, none of them are good. <laughs> yeah. One Spider's Fury. Um, I think I actually do want to move the line up, though. So, let's do that. Fucking know it. Actually, we're not even... Nah. I mean, we're doing good. We're doing good. We can't complain. Never complain. The game will bite you for it. Beautiful. Let's move this line up. Jorigami's on the left. Yeah, I saved uh, a setup. And it actually worked. So, I won too good. It's, it's good. Definitely enjoyable. This guy's a bit of a bastard. Um, so we want to do something like this. Oh. Fuck, I didn't want to have to re-roll that. And that worked out. But... I had four in the first because we won a, um, a kickoff event, which was brilliant coaching. So things we want to do, kind of want to blitz this guy and get him out of the way. And like set our cage up like kind of here. Well, the game went like super laggy for a second. I like that. Nicely done origami. Oh my god! That man had a family! They'll never play in esports again. Alright. Let's set up in the bastard position. How far can Rudy run? That's gonna have to be far enough! <laughs> I mean, I don't think it is, but... Close this. Uh, actually, we need a guy here, bad. Keep it up. Yeah, well, that's the plan. The plan is to murder every team all the time. I mean, an elf can get through that, but... How far can you get? Can you get here? Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. All right, look at this. What a cage. It's great. I mean, I kind of forgot Spider's Fury was on his ass. Uh, Well, whatever. If they get to the ball, they're staring down with a, a pissed-off Minotaur. So... Have I played as every type of team before? No. I have played... Every team but four. What is this? What? Oh, the jump! <laughs> that's what you get! Oh, that's what you get, you fucker! You trying to jump over my guys? Get the shit out of here! Get out of this game! We don't want you here. That's garbage. No. 
Uh, one of the teams I've never played, I really do want to play because they <laughs> they seem both like super terrible and really interesting. That's the vampire team. I mean, I want to do this. Two GFIs seems a little rough, but. Try doing flips and shit and breaking their necks, yeah. Oh man, I, I don't even know. I think we can't just leave the war dancer there. I mean that's a problem. Oh, we want to kill this guy, right? That'd be nice. Maybe that's what we do this turn. We just play reactionary. Just chill for a hot minute. Punch a few people. That's some punches. Let Spider Street blitz this guy. I think that's what we do. Come on, Dino. Nice. Not sure I should have followed up there. Uh, he just died for some reason. I mean, the follow-up's okay if I put the Minotaur here. Will the Minotaur go there? Will the Minotaur go here? Foxy will not. She, she just wants to scream a little bit. Next time they should hire a tame player, yeah. Probably more right than wrong there. Oh, we gotta stay. I'm gonna go for this. It's pretty fun. No, failed my GFI. I will re-roll that. I would love to kill this guy today. No. Womp womp. There's always a chance. Sometimes you just need to scream, that's right. What am I missing here? That gives me double his strength, so I should have a three die. Or do you have to be one over double? It is four plus two. Das ist three, no? I don't know. Whatever. Come on, Maggetti. Fuck. Alright, I guess we can just keep pushing him further away. Uh, I need to move you a little, a little somewhere safer there. Put that in a weird spot. Not worth it. Need two times stir plus one. Okay, I thought it was just two times stir. I didn't actually even realize how you got three dies before. I thought it was just plus three. Because you know most players are three strength, so I thought you need plus three. But that was that was my bad. All these years knowing it wrong. Okay. 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 He re-rolls it. Gets the natural six. As you do. She didn't even need because he had strip ball. Hey. Do you know what hell you have just entered, sir? Do you? Are you aware? I don't think this fucker's aware. You're in my territory now, son. Oh no, apparently he's not. My bad. I thought he was. I was like, oh, this is this is my territory. It's not. It just look like it from the outside. Might be alright. I mean, if I stand Rudy up, but I want to stand up and pick the ball up with him. A little greedy. We can go here and get a three die. 
thought, I really want this war dancer dead. But how do we knock him down? I need, need like a pow or something. Uh, yes. Jeez. <sighs> Not great odds. So I could push him up and then I have another chance to hit him from over there. That's, oh, Yankers. Given the spankers. I like it. You know what happens now, sir? Are you aware? Because it's not pretty, my friend. Let me tell you. Um, some of this is unfortunate. Has to be said. So what's more important? Trying to get to the ball? It's kind of important, I guess. Do we try and pick that? Right, we got a reroll. Could be two GFIs and then a pickup. It's not bad, but then we're stuck there, but then we could also foul. Yeah, I like it. So I really want to do this foul. So what what do you think we do? Do we foul first? Yeah, we do need this score at least once. You're right, Fox. Fuck it. We're all going to hell anyway. Come on, Herbie! Hey, no doubles. No doubles. Wow. Nice. Well, that makes picking this up a lot safer. Look at that. Pro strats. Pro strats. <laughs> oh, and you failed the first fucking pickup. You would, Rudy. Uh, here? I kind of want to put Fox in, like, a weird spot. Like, right here. Nope, I don't. <laughs> I just want to have her scream a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> um, they're definitely going to blitz with an elf. They're just going to dodge around. Well, they could blitz with two, actually. All right. This guy's dying. That's just gonna happen. Nope, he's not. Forgot about my uh, my RNG. It's very not good. Maybe this guy's dying. Yep. Stop being so angry. Move the thunder legs, damn it. That's right. You gotta put one leg, and then another. And then another. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. You think the AI's realizing their team's getting shrecked? Maybe. I mean, this is, like, both stupid and incredible. Like, the balls on that play right there. I really want to go for a fucking pass. I want Maggetti to score, man. Do we? Should we? Could we? No, I'll play it safe, right? We'll pass next turn, I think, for fun. We haven't blitzed yet. And we're piling on before the game ends? Yeah, for sure. Just that casual backhand. Um... Okay, Herpy's gonna be doing a little foul in a second. No. No? Yeah, that'll do. Oh shit, the GFI. I didn't see it! Okay, borrowed. Thankfully, didn't die there. Go here. Uh, you should have sidestepped here. Just in case he survives. Kinda wanna have Fox do the fucking. the foul here. The chance it don't happen though, that's the only problem. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you could potentially score next turn. Oh, what do you guys think? Do we have Foxy go for it? Fox it oh. No, she just wants to scream. That's okay. Come on, Herpy, get in there. I mean, I'm glad we never took stand firm on Fox, because she won't leave the middle anyway. 
Like, it doesn't happen. <laughs> you work in the down as I punch the elf where you went sideways? Yeah, I'll take that. So trying to get a moody teenager to do something. That <laughs> squares boxes and she's not leaving. I know, I always tell people, don't get the big guy. Because, like, when you first play Blood Bowl, you're like, Oh my god! Look at this! I'm playing human and they got a five strength guy! This fucking ogre's insane! But, like, realistically, that ogre is going to be the downfall of your team. Because you're going to put it right here, and you're going to be like, Man, I'm just going to kill everybody all game. But then the ogre does nothing all game. Plus, bo uh, ogres are worse, actually, because they're equivalent of wild animal. It's called bonehead. And when it happens, like, they just stand there and do nothing. Like, they don't even give tackle zones. You can just walk right past them. They're so stupid. Um, so don't recommend the ogre. You know. No bueno. But when you're an experienced player, the big guys, you know, they got a purpose. Yes. Really? Okay. Well, that's fun. Um... I mean, we can get there with one GFI. I mean, I really want this score on Maggetti. It's just all kinds of, like, nope. We go ahead and turn this horse into a race car, and now we're just like, what the fuck do we do with him, actually? You know? What do we get on him, anyway? Oh, yeah, we got dodge, because he rolled doubles. So we gotta get him break tackle, we have to get him block. Yeah, whatever, we got a couple turns. Failed to pass, come on Rudy, that was the easy part. The catch is the hard part. <gasps> oh my god! What's the surprise? It's a pickle. It's a pickle surprise, boys. No, that was already the, the best pass. You could have done a handoff. But handoffs are boring. Is a pizza. Yeah, who needs rerolls anyway, for reals? That's a GFI, no thank you. So we're gonna desperately Hold the Oh right, this guy's two strength. I was about the fucking uh, get a little mad. But then, do we foul? And we just we just score, right? Maggetti, all you gotta do, walk that pony ass down there. You get SPP for handoffs? No. You only get star player points for a successful pass. You don't even get it for the catch. Told me life is like a box of chocolate. One team I had though, so I had a, a chaos team. Um, I wasn't. Oh fuck off! Their whole team just stood up there. Uh, they did have a Bloodweiser, babe. That's right. But Jesus, <laughs> me no likey. Guess that. Even if you f no, so if you make a successful pass and they catch it, you get one star player point. Hey, we got a reroll. Thank God. What? Oh, he just caught the ball. <laughs> so why me? I'm back six of my eight chaos. Yeah. Uh, I did the math. Uh, actually, the math does kind of add up there, borrowed. Two and six chance of failing a roll. So. Yeah, but, um, you can get some really good, like, throwers in this game. There's Okay, so, unfortunately, we're not playing a passing team, so I can't show you. But there's there's a couple ranges. So, if you're standing here, um, a short pass is, I believe, two tiles. Three tiles to, like, the, like five is, like, a... Oh, no, no, shit, shit. A quick pass is two tiles, which gives you a plus one on your throw, your pass. 
Um, a catch is always like whatever their agility is. Um, then it's so if you if you were here, that this is a quick pass. A short pass is up to here, I think, or is it two and then then medium? Uh, or long. Sorry, this is long. This is a minus one. And then long bomb, you can just fucking whip it to the back forty if you want, which is a valid and hilarious strategy. I like it. Um, oh, it was an orc team. I had this wonk ass orc team that I just lucked out and got a plus agility thrower, and things just went good. What the fuck? My RNG. You gotta stop it. More chance to kill them. True, but I wanted another touchdown. You know. It's going for the Hail Mary every play. Yeah, I mean, the Hail Mary is always fun. Like, I love building teams around it. If we ever get a vampire team, I'm going to build it where you just, like... Because vampires are, like, stupid, but they're also, like, really shitty. Uh, I'll explain that when we get to them. But it's like, you know, just have a vampire back here, and you just get the ball, and you just throw it, and turn one, you're here, and you're like, yep. Yeah, that's my turn. What's yours? My ancestors are looking down on me. Looking down on you. Catch on Maggetti, throw on Rudy, get the race car to have the ball. You see, here's the thing. Normally, I would tell you that's stupid as shit, Borrowed. Like, that's terrible. But you know what? I love fun, 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 fun. You know? I love it. So, I love that idea so much. We're actually fucking doing that. I'm all about it. Oh, you cockbag. That's not good. You have guard? Ew. Well, I don't have a way really of stomping them. Oh, no. Got to try and slow them down. Oh, I like those odds. Did we just have Maggetti do that for, like, the jokes? I kind of feel like we do. <laughs> Coaches hate him. <laughs> Fuck it, right? This seems fun. No? What if we went that way? Oh yeah, we got all these GFIs we can make for free. What about here? That's less dodges. I mean, this guy's still gonna dodge up and pick out the ball, that's why I wanna be here. <laughs> Come on, right? Just for the jokes? Just one time? Just one time, guys. I mean, I do want Maggetti to score though, that's the problem. Maybe we just run Maggetti just fucking downwind. I don't fucking know. Maybe? He does re-roll every dodge because he has dodge. So he has like a 33% chance in all these. Ish. Not really. 25, right? <sighs> Fuck it. But the first one! That's fine. <laughs> He'll just sit here in shame. Like, oh, guys. Okay. <laughs> well, at least he stops them going this way, I guess. I don't fucking know. We should we should still be able to get on the score. If we can get... Oh, okay. Terrifying. We just gotta get him to the ball is the problem. 0.24% chance of getting all those dodges. We had that, man. Oh, these fuckers still had re -roll. Oh! Elves failing to pick up the ball. That's what you get. I'm not going to tell you why their hands are so slippery. But, uh... That's a thing. I like that. Get him! Beautiful. 
keep racking up those kills. Smash collarbone. Oh, just get out of here. Delete that unit. Those aren't good with balls. Is this the real life? <laughs> Not always. That might be a foul, just because spite. We need to remove this piece. We don't need to kill him, actually. We just need to move him. Whoa! Video games? You want to try again, Borrowed? Oh, okay. That'll do. That'll do fine. What the fuck, buddy? Don't ever do that again. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> I've heard of a one-eyed snake. I think two is a bit standard. Three? Nah. Yeah, Fox got angry. Oh my god! Like... Okay, so... Yeah, I was gonna say, they have to use the apothecary on that guy. Like... Don't really want to have a strength one elf running around. Not usually. I should have blitzed here. Uh, I, yeah, I should have. Yeah, that was a misplay. Unless I blitz like that. Nope, oh, that's bad. I fucked up there. This team is getting absolutely shrecked. Yeah. Oh, Megetti failed to pick the ball up. Uh, can we score in one turn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. We can get that in score. It requires rolling some dice, <laughs> but I mean, it could happen. <laughs> That's what, three permanent injuries now borrowed. That would have been four, but they re-rolled it. Uh, this getting, the guy's getting piling on. Uh, he's actually not. It's a lot safer to have Origami do it because he does have strip ball. Sucks. Oh shit, oh not Rudy! Okay, thank God. Is that a reroll finally? Thankfully, Rudy is like a beast because he's like the unit we're actually building, like a real fucking unit. If we were playing this game for real, oh whatever. Two broken necks and those are second smash collarbone. Yeah, it's the odds are rolling that shit. It's not great either. Just... Shit! Uh, I got to do it like this, I think, because I need to push him up. But if I push him down, okay, cool. It's fine. So we take the ball out of his hands. Right. So the pickup's a lot harder now, unfortunately. Because of where it is. And we'd have to dodge in. We'd have to do something like that. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to pick up the ball if I did that. Is there anyone we could get the ball on who could then throw it? Not any of these characters. I mean, that's a touchdown. <laughs> what are the odds? Well, we've, we've used up every one in the book. The game can't throw us any more ones. Run me getting past to him? I can't, though. Like, I have nobody that can pick the ball up. Like, nobody on our team is capable of using the hands. And Hang on. So there is a chance... <laughs> It would have to be this. I mean, we can knock this guy down. Yeah. Have Fox do it? Oh, you. So, what we'd have to do, we'd have to get Maggetti here, like this, which is already asking a few things. He does reroll that dodge. Then, what we have to do is get Herpy over here, pick up the ball, and then throw, and not have the fucking elf intercept it. So what do you think? I'll let you guys think and vote on that one there. Are we going to just try and pick up and run? Let's let's look at these odds here. 33% dodge. We re-roll with dodge. Okay. 33% pick up. That's just fucky. 50% dodge. We re-roll that dodge. Three GFIs that we re-roll. Or... One dodge at 50%. Versus... Okay, so then we still have to get in here. We gotta pick this ball up as a 50%. But then throw it and have both of them catch? 
So the the pass will be. I mean, that's going to be a long pass. This is the last turn. Yeah, I think we just. I think we just run straight down, just like this. Miguel, do me proud, baby. The the first roll, the first roll fails it twice in a row. Two ones. Two ones. Beautiful. Like, holy fuck, how many ones did we roll this game? I need to see. I need to see. Oh, fuck you, just spite me. We gotta can roll my ones? Yeah. You jinx it by saying there are no more ones, but there's always another one, I know. I totally can't take the pressure. Every time we try and get McGetty to score, he's like, no, nah, man. Uh, he got it that one time. Ooh, six. Hey, Zelfus was our MVP. That's really annoying. All right, let's see it. Does that feel right? Oh, that's their team. No, what? You're saying we only rolled 11 ones? I rolled way more than that dice. Way more than that. Yeah, see, and this is, this is what I hate because... So what this does is, like, the game... Calcul like, when I attack them, I'm rolling... Like, like... Oh, it doesn't show block dice here. Oh, you bitch. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Whoa, 51 of the... Oh, there's two of these results, though. Hmm. I mean, these guys didn't really block anything. I don't know why it wouldn't put block dice in with the D6. It's the same shit. Still got some SPP, though. Three ones in a single move. 11 is centaur shit. Would you say it is bull centaur shit? No, maybe, yes. I think we got, well, we got to level up, right? Zelfus, the guy we didn't want to level up because he already has a fucking dirty player. Oh. The Hail Mary pass, guys. The player may throw a ball to any square on the playing pitch, no matter what the range. The Hail Mary pass may not be intercepted, but it is never accurate. The ball automatically misses and scatters three squares. The skill may not be used in a blizzard with the throw teammate skill. Oh. Hmm. Well, I mean, I don't know, man. The problem is, though, like, Zelfus is my fucking dirty player, right? So, like, we, we want to throw, like, Wrestle or something on him. Like, maybe Shadowing. Um, I don't know. We can get some crazy shit. Diving tackle? Make your opponent re-roll their dodge? Hmm. Sneaky get? Less chance of him getting, uh, like, ejected for a foul, but only on the armor roll. Hmm. Leader. So we get a single leader re-roll counter and add it to their team re-rolls at the start of the game and at halftime. Leader reroll may be used as so long as there's at least one player with the leader skill on the pitch. We could take this and have a free reroll. Excel better at fouling. There's nothing that like makes him better at fouling than dirty player, unfortunately. You know? That's a tough one. We have all these options now. Grab strong arm. Do we transition him into like a pass passing guy? could probably like i don't know he ain't set off the pitch and he's better at fouling yeah i know there is something to be said for going for sneaky get like it's not actually that incredible but i mean it, it does lower not ejected for rolling doubles on the armor roll unless the armor roll was successful But, like, the armor roll is always successful because of dirty player. Like, not always, but, like, a good chance. 
What else could we do? Player stands up for free without paying three squares of movement. Jump up so we could uh, foul more often. Pretty much makes double ones and double twos always fail. That's true. Uh, double twos I still like break armor with though usually. Man, that's a tough one. We could get him plus one movement for more fouling. That's actually interesting. So we did roll a 10. So we can make him run fucking fast as shit, boy. Sometimes he's a little bit too far away. Hmm. Wonder if. Hang on. I wonder if Pro works on armor rolls. There's no way, right? Reroll any one dice roll he's made. You have a 50% chance to be able to reroll that. I don't think so. Piling, piling on. No, so piling on only works for a block. Not. Oh, I kind of like what you're saying there, Borrowed. Yeah, I mean, you could throw guard on him, too, which makes him really annoying. But yeah, so it's like, if we use him to block, we can piling on. Otherwise, we foul. That's interesting. Okay. Man, there's a lot of uh, really tough choices right now. I, I didn't even think about guard until right now, but guard would be really dirty. I know it doesn't work for, like, fouls, but... Then you can throw Zelfus into the middle of bullshit and foul, and he's still, like, being super useful? I mean, it's tough. Leader is also really interesting. Like, we just get a free reroll on him for the whole, like, the team. But that's it. If he gets fouled, we lose that reroll. Or, uh, sorry, if he gets sent off. But it's still interesting. You know? I was just going to get kick on him if we just got general. And then, yeah, the movement's also really tempting. Just so we can, like, get to positions better. I think we, we might just go for movement. Tough one. Maybe we'll ask Zelfus himself. See what he says. Man, I just wanted to get Kick, because Kick's a pretty good one. <laughs> uh, huh. Very interesting. Very interesting. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end Blood Bowl here. Oh, hang on. Let's check out this team. Elven Union. Five wins, three draws. Okay. This is totally doable. So these guys here are the second best passing team in the game. So they're elves, they're fast, they're annoying, they dodge around shit, they have pretty good armor, considering. Oh no, they suck shit for armor. Oh, I was pretty sure the pro, ar pro elves had fucking eight armor across the board. Yeah, we're gonna probably have a good day with these guys. The only thing we gotta remember is they can fucking pass four days. So... Um, we, we just got the same thing. We just can't let them through. Do we do another Blood Bowl? Draws a loss for both teams, you stupid elves. Ah, oh, man. Movement's probably the smartest fold by guard than kick. Yeah, it, it's really tough. I do kind of want to do another game, though. But last time we did another game, like, do you remember how bad it went? It went pretty bad. But our first game was kind of bad, so... I know... I know, I remember all too well. Hmm. No, I think this is I think this is a good place to stop. Like we can sit and think about Zelfas, because that's a really interesting choice. Cause like the interesting thing about it is Dirty Player is never a bad skill. So we could always use him for other stuff and just have a dirty player in our back pocket. Bring out the Canadian Winter. Good call, Foxy. All right, well, in that case, guys, I'm going to be right back. Seriously, though, just like two minutes. I'm just going to 
end the stream, change the uh, the name of the broadcast over to um whatever the fuck the last winter <laughs> the, the long storm the long dark change the name of the long the dark and we're gonna go get um get our church all cleaned out I, i'm really happy now that we found that church that like period where you're going through the the road was super cool though a little frustrating because like i was about to die and i was like oh where the fuck am i going and it's nighttime and it's scary but like it was so cool you're just like pushing on you're like please let there be shelter from the storm we found that little car with a flare in it, and that was good. But, um, yeah, okay, I'll be right back, guys. Murder Wolf Simulator. Yes. <laughs> Fox, you need to emulate that. You know? Emulate your the Murder Wolf into your fucking um, Minotaur. Thank you. The Long Bork. <laughs> that's good. All right, I'll see you guys in just a minute. <laughs> 